are just days away now from the Royals getting back on the field at Kauffman. Three now, days. The season opener is Sunday night, and as we welcome back our World Series champs, one artist will help us remember that very moment they claimed the title for a long time to come. Oh, yeah. Joel Nichols is getting a sneak peek at the latest Royals mural. Good morning, Joel. Good morning. We're at the Leopold Gallery, and they've been for 25 years making Kansas City this beautiful artistic hub, and they've done great work and great installations all over town. And now Paul has this great one that, that your artist William Rose has created, right? Uh, with your your input and a lot of wonderful work. Tell us about this mural, how it came to be, and how long it took uh, the artist to create this. Uh, well, after the World Series was over and the Royals won, we had a funny feeling they'd want to do another painting. We've done several for them. Right. So we approached the Royals after they had a little time off and had time to relax and celebrate and suggested this concept where we had the team rushing the field, right. but we had the huge crowd at Union Station as a backdrop because we didn't want to celebrate a stadium in New York, right? <laughs> That's right. We wanted to celebrate <laughs> Kansas City. So it's all about the team and it's all about Kansas City and it's about that incredible crowd on the day of the parade. And you've taken those two, those two moments in this wonderful uh, season from two different photographic artists right. of their own and combined this. And it, right. how long did it take uh, Mr. Rose to, to do this? He worked on it six weeks, and Roy Emmon, the photographer, was kind enough to lend us the rights to his incredible photograph from on top of Union Station yeah. so we could really combine these concepts and make them work. The water flying through the air is incredible. The expressions on all the faces, the way he captured the personality of all the players. Well, not quite Perez, but he did. He doesn't show the face, but he shows the back. I know, and we were talking about it before, that that really does, even though you don't see Selby's face, that sums up his influence on the team. He was always there to give him a hug and the, uh, the encouragement. Right on, it's perfect. Right the warmth really comes through, the passion. So thus it tells, it tells the whole story we wanted to, but he worked really hard on it for six weeks. I mean, you really want three months to do a piece like this, but we had to get moving by the time they authorized it. And it, you can still see when the light hits it that it's still a little wet. A it's little bit oil, better. takes yeah. a little while, and then tomorrow this will be installed uh, out at Kaufman. And we're going to talk a little bit more about what that takes to take this great work of art and make the installation. But at uh, Leopold Gallery, they've been doing that for, like I say, a quarter of a century and doing it so well. So we'll be back and tell you more about where this is going to be at Kaufman and uh, when it's going to get put in and all of that uh, good detail. But that is amazing. That's an amazing picture. Get you ready for the season just looking at it. I just yes. love how it's two amazing moments combined in one. The, the best you can remember yep. from the World Series right there. Awesome. Thank you, Joel. Thanks, Joel.